Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation. And I'm here with a new Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge Amplifier. The Loudbox Charge is a new version of Fishman's highly successful Loudbox Mini Amp, and um, it adds a battery, so you can run it without being plugged into AC power. That is a very, very cool feature for a lot of performers, uh, whether you're busking or playing outdoor wedding gigs, for example, any kind of outdoor gig, um, but even a lot of times playing indoors, uh, not having to rely on AC power can be a really great thing if you're out there gigging and working. And uh, I'm really pleased to see them doing this in this small format uh, Loudbox Mini Amp, which is a great little amp for a lot of performance situations. Let's take a look at what it offers. So most of the features on the Loudbox Mini Charge are exactly the same as they are on the standard Loudbox Mini. Um, we have two channels, uh, one with an instrument quarter inch input, one with a microphone XLR input. There is a phase control on channel one, uh, gain, low, mid, high, reverb, and chorus controls, digital reverb and chorus built right into the uh, channel one of the amp. Um, the microphone channel has gain, EQ for low and high, and reverb as well. So you have separate control over the reverb on both channels. And of course, a master volume control. Uh, the amp has 60 watts of power, goes through one six and a half inch speaker, and um, a separate uh, high frequency uh, tweeter. Um, and there's a couple new features to the amp. Of course, the internal battery is the primary uh, difference between this and the regular Loudbox Mini. Fishman says you can get up to 12 hours of playing time out of a full charge on the amp, uh, which is great. Um, the charger is a standard um, AC plug charger, similar to the way like a laptop charger would look like. There's also a separate charger that you can purchase uh, that allows you to charge this uh, with a car socket, a 12 volt. Uh, socket in your car to charge the amp. So you can really be, um, if you're on the road, uh, maybe people who are traveling, uh, if you're traveling with an RV or anything like that, really wonderful choice to have, different ways to charge this amp. Um, power is exactly the same as a regular Loudbox Mini. You may, have, you may know that we've been using a regular Fishman Loudbox Mini for many of our gear demos here on Packet Nation. So I've had a chance to AB the two amps, and tonally they really are identical. So a couple of the new features, of course, are related to the battery. Uh, there are some uh, charging um, uh, status lights uh, up here uh, above the master volume. And one very cool feature about this amp is that uh, you can actually use it while it's charging. There are some battery-powered amps uh, that you can't use while they charge. Uh, so you kind of have to either be charged or uh, they're non-functional. So that is a very um, useful uh, feature on this amp, is that if you are near where there's AC power, you can plug it in and still play through the amp while it's charging. So that is very useful. Um, there is a uh, Bluetooth feature on this. Uh, which is really a new and additional feature. And I think this is the first Fishman amp to have this. And that means that you can um, run music through it, say, on a set break, uh, right from your phone or any kind of Bluetooth device. Uh, and that works very great. It, uh, it uh, pairs easily. I tried it with an iPhone SE, and it uh, took me no time to figure it out. And it sounded great. On the back of the unit, uh, there's a DI output, XLR DI out, uh, which is partially what you're hearing in this demo combined with our overhead microphone. There is a mini jack auxiliary input, uh, which again, you can use for playing background music um, or such things, connecting anything with a mini jack in case you don't want to use the Bluetooth. There's a power switch and a socket uh, for the charger to be plugged in. OK, so those are the basic features on the Loudbox Mini Charge. Uh, let's have another listen to them. Uh, I'm playing a Taylor uh, 712C with a Fishman Rare Earth Blend pickup. I'm going straight into the amplifier here. I've uh, got my gain set at about 11 o'clock. Uh, right now, I have the EQ completely flat. If I wanted to add some lows. Very effective uh, low band EQ. If it was too boomy, I could take some out. Same with the mids. It's a very
very effective mid-range control that'll allow you to take out some of the honk that some guitars might get uh, by cutting the mids a little bit. Again, the highest could add some sizzle or take away something that's a little bit too bright. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep this on the, uh, the flat position. I had a little touch of reverb going earlier. Um, I could turn that up. Quite a nice natural reverb tail on that. Uh, if I just want a little tiny touch to really quite uh, quite a lot of reverb. Uh, for most purposes, I would probably keep it the way I had it originally right here uh, at about maybe 10 o'clock. The amp also, as I mentioned, features built-in chorus. And um, uh, there's one control for it here on the guitar channel only. And that's a very nice sounding chorus. I have it on, um, again, let's set it like right here in the middle. purposes I'll crank it up a little bit more there's probably more than what you would use in most uh, settings but use that to shape your sound a little bit more, get a little variety uh, in the tone that you're achieving from your instrument. Of course, this amp is not just for guitar players. It's really a full range system. Um, and uh, listening to it with uh, the Bluetooth and just listening to recorded music uh, through it really drove home the fact that this is designed as a full range speaker. And it uh, would work great with any acoustic instrument. Um, whether you're using it with a pickup or a microphone. Um, I've also heard people sing through Loudbox Minis, and uh, it can sound really great. Uh, I found these to be powerful enough uh, to work in a lot of professional settings. I've taken the regular Loudbox Mini out to wedding gigs, for example, um, where it definitely has enough juice to be heard uh, in, a, in this case, my case, a solo guitar context. I know. A lot of people who use these as monitors on stage with different acoustic instruments. Um, and so even though they're very small uh, and compact, uh, they definitely have enough power uh, to go beyond just uh, practice um, uh, or very small settings. Uh, great little amplifiers, and having the um, onboard battery is extremely useful. If you're a professional musician who plays casuals and uh, weddings and uh, gigs like that, you've probably been in situations where plugging into AC power was difficult or maybe even impossible. Uh, you might have used really long extension cords uh, or such things. And so having a battery-powered amp, uh, in my view, is a very important tool to have in your rig. Um, and uh, I would definitely recommend you check these out. There aren't a ton of options for battery-powered amplifiers that are made for acoustic instruments out there, uh, and having Fishman add this function to an amp that has proved itself to be uh, highly successful and good sounding and, uh, and um, reliable rig is uh, really a great move, and uh, I recommend you check them out. So that's the new Fishman Loudbox Mini Charge. Uh, very cool new amp. Um, I just play out a little bit with a setting that has a little bit of the chorus and reverb in there. Um, they will be available uh, at Fishman dealers. And I hope you come back here to Packard Nation to check out some more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gurken. Mm -hmm.